Well, hi, it's Pastor Rick again. I'm glad you joined me today. I want to talk to you about, a little bit about the difference between happiness and joy. I'm not always happy, to tell you the truth. I just be candid with you. I'm not going to hide anything. Sometimes things are not going my way. And especially for me, which is the way I am, when someone else is having a hard time, then I'm having a hard time uh, because I care a lot for other people. God's been very, very good to me, and I'm very grateful. But when I see other people go through tough times, it kind of kind of touches my heart. And sometimes people think that things have to be going their way in order for them to be, what we say, happy. And the truth is, happiness does depend on outward circumstance. As long as their lives are untroubled and the checks come in when they're supposed to and nothing breaks down, then they feel happy. But let's say illness comes into their life and they don't feel good. Or there's a relationship that breaks up because someone else, regardless of what you do, decides they want to go do something else or be with someone else or anything else. Any unexpected trouble that comes into their life, then their happiness is gone. So they go between happy days when things are going their way and really sad and down days and even self-destructive days when trouble comes. In some places in our in our community there there are springs. A spring that brings up water out of the ground and some of these springs are amazing. All summer they keep bringing up water out of the ground and uh, What's interesting is even if it rains hard or if it doesn't rain hard, usually the springs keep bringing up some water. The summer comes, the drought may come, but the springs keep coming. And that's a wonderful thing about springs. They're dependent upon water that came down from clouds a long time ago. And that's the kind of life we want to have is being sustained even when we go through tough times or drought in our life. And we all desire to have that kind of a life where we are uh, looking up and we're able to sustain, we're able to endure even when we go through tough times. There's a scripture in the Bible that talks about that. He says, the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. My peace I give to you. Of course, you know who said that, right? Jesus. Jesus said that. I want to know, have you ever come to the place where no matter what's going on around you, you have like joy inside your heart? Even though everybody's having a tough time and you may be going through it with them, you and I can still have joy inside of us and peace in our heart if you have a relationship with Jesus Christ. He's the one that sustains me. He provides for me. He encourages me when perhaps things aren't going well for people that I know and I'm concerned for them or even in my own life, I want to appeal to you today. I want to appeal to you if you've never come to the time to make a decision to trust in Jesus Christ. Maybe you're like me, you have a lot of questions. I don't know who I can trust. Can I really believe in Jesus Christ? Well, you're not going to be finding out by sitting there doing nothing. Let me encourage you to come visit our church Check it out. Kick the tires, check the oil, so to speak. But come and visit our church. I promise you, you will be made to feel welcome here, accepted here. And every week I teach from the Bible lessons that apply to real life. You come, ask your questions. We'll do our best to try to answer them in a positive way. We really want you to know Jesus Christ, and we want you to have a great life. God bless you. God loves you. And so do we.